Now to some massive news, quite literally massive in the world of science. For years, scientists have dreamed of resurrecting the woolly mammoth. And now the group leading the charge has achieved a huge milestone and it involves the cutest little critters that you've ever seen. It's been about 4,000 years since human beings saw a living, breathing woolly mammoth and thought, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to hunt this bad, bad boy to death. death. And about 10 years since DNA editing technology got so good, scientists thought, yeah, yeah I'm going to science this bad boy, boy back, back to life. life. Resurrecting the mammoth tusk is a mammoth task, so has bioscience company Colossal actually finally done it? Well, not quite yet. Ah. But we're close. We have been working on this for years and we have just had a super exciting breakthrough. I would say a mouse size mammoth breakthrough. Have you seen how cute they are? Oh, we certainly have. Get ready to meet the colossal woolly mouse. These are real creatures, mice whose genes have been edited so that their fur has the exact traits of the long extinct woolly mammoth. It's not possible to bring something back that is 100% identical in every way to a species that used to be here. What we're thinking about is a functional mammoth, an animal that has a lot of the traits of a mammoth that will allow the elephant to survive in a cold habitat. The team examined a set of 121 mammoth and elephant genomes, noting the differences between them and identified 10 mammoth genes that relate to hair length, thickness, texture and colour. Then, using three genome editing technologies, they edited mice genes so they grow coats practically identical to that of the woolly mammoth. Hence, the colossal woolly mouse. As we develop these new tools, they will be immediately applicable to saving species that are not yet extinct. Colossal isn't stopping at the mammoth. They've also got the legendary dodo and our own Tassie tiger in their sights. So could we soon be looking at a world in which extinction is just a temporary state? And more importantly, how do we get our hands on one of those adorable woolly mice? <coughs> A good question. And joining us now is the man who put his money where his mouse is. It's well done, Ben Lamb. Well Thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Co-founder and CEO of Colossal. It's Ben. Congratulations on the massive breakthrough. You've said the woolly mammoth could be de-extinct by 2028. Are you still on track for that? Yeah, that's our goal, right? It takes 22 months to gestate an elephant. That means that we have to get to a actual embryo with our an Asian elephant embryo with our mammoth edits in it by the end of 2026. And the woolly mouse kind of proves that we're on the right track at least. So Ben, can you explain it to me like I'm an idiot because in this situation, <laughs> I am. So you're taking the cells and the DNA that you have from a woolly mammoth and then the plan is to take all of those ones that are useful and put that into a different embryo and have that be placed into an elephant and then eventually the elephant will become a woolly mammoth? Yeah, so, I mean, you basically nailed it, right? And so I, I don't, I mean, I'm not a scientist, you're not a scientist, but I mean, you, you're pretty much spot on. We basically take a bunch of ancient DNA that's massively fragmented, ranging from about 3,000 years to 1.2 million years. We assemble it using software and computers, compare it to the closest living relative, which in this case is the Asian elephant. It's about 99.6% the same genetically. Oh. And then we actually try to identify what genes made a mammoth the mammoth. So we're not trying to clone the mammoth. We're not trying to take Jurassic Park and like cram weird stuff together. <laughs> we're really just trying to say what genes made a mammoth the mammoth. What gave it that subcutaneous fat layer, those curved tusks, the doned cranium, and that great shaggy, beautiful golden uh, fur that we all think of when we think of mammoths, right? And if everything goes well, in 22 months, we have our first mammoth calves. Ben, that's fantastic. It's, it was a little bit too layman for me. Can you explain it to me like I'm a genius, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So one layer deep, well, deeper. Oh, so we're running out of time. Uh, we we'll move on to the next question. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we don't want to all be left behind. Um, so, all right, you, you've done it with a mouse. Um, mice are a long way from elephants. When do you do the elephant? So we've been working on the elephant now for nearly three years, right? And so we actually, so this is pretty awesome. We actually only started the mouse project in September. And these mice weren't born yesterday. They were actually born in October. So we identified the same traits in mice that feel like the exact same traits in mammoths, did all the comparative genomics, and literally in one month, we built a system, used our DNA, uh, our ancient DNA uh, de-extinction pipeline implemented it, and we had 100% efficiency in our genome engineering, which is nearly unheard, unheard of in this industry. And then we had 38 beautiful uh, woolly mice uh, born that were all healthy on day one. Yeah. Ben, you mentioned Jurassic Park earlier. Of course, that's where a lot of our minds go. Is there any way 
This could go balls up. And you don't want to go and balls up because the woolly mammoth's balls, they're significant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So believe it or not, we've heard the Jurassic Park question a time or two. Mm-hmm. And we have to continually remind people that it was a movie. Many times people ask us, have you seen Jurassic Park? And I'm like, I've also seen Dune and Blade Runner and a bunch of other things that weren't real also. <laughs> um, I, I think the movie did a great job entertaining us, but I think it also inspired the next generation of kids that may have grown up to want to be geneticists. I hear that all the time, that the movie actually got people excited about genetics and they ended up being geneticists. Ben, thanks so much for your time. Good luck with oh, it all. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs>